Here I go. Oh, that's the smaller one. You want the big one, they both wanted it. There. Come on. That's what we want. Oh, we got the camera cord now. It's inevitable. I think it's a big fish here, guys. This is a big one here. This is what we are wanting right there. Right there. That is a, a much better sized fish. Definitely fatter. Probably 14 and a half. All right, today what we're gonna do, we're gonna answer the age old Facebook group question. What are they biting on? What are they biting on? I'm gonna give you my top two, really the only two lures you will need for catching big perch on Lake Cascade. I thought about should I do top five, top 10, there's a lot of like top 10 perch lures out there on YouTube. But honestly, it really just comes down to two. There is the aggressive perch, when those big perch come in and will eat anything in sight. And then there's the ones that are, eh, should I eat it, mm, maybe. Mm. So I'm actually tying up right now. Uh, got a fishing tournament coming up in about a week up on Cascade. And I'm gonna show you the two lures that I use almost all the time. So if you have these two or a variation of them, that's it, that's all you need. The rest of it is location and being patient and finding active fish. The first lure that we're gonna look at today is the one I use, usually I'll start with this. 99% of the time I'll start with this lure right here or its brother right here. And so what this is, this is a slab wrap. That's what it looks like. If you've watched any of our videos, you've seen me use that exact lure, catch fish on that exact lure. That is a slab wrap. It's a SLRO4. This is the same size. And this is the perch color. This is the hot glow perch. I, If I had to pick, I'd pick the hot glow perch. That is my favorite. All right, so this lure is what I would call a good search bait. It'll let us know if there's active fish. If you're dropping this down and hole hopping, and you've got a Vexlar uh, or some sort of flasher down there, you'll be able to, pretty much everything will at least look at this. If there are active fish in the area, they cannot resist this. So maybe you don't have the perch, maybe you don't have the hot glow color. This time of year, you try to buy anything on Cabela's, it's out of stock. There's some different variations of, of lures, slab wraps, different sizes, different colors. Okay, so how do you fish a slab wrap like this? How I do it is I use my flasher, I get down about a foot off the bottom, and I'm, I'm making some pretty good jigs like this. And I'm fluttering, and I'm getting that slab wrap to go, you know, up to three, four feet off the bottom. And then I'll jig it up, and it flutters back down. So you'll have that lure jigging from one to three, four feet off the bottom if you're jigging it like this. And as I'm seeing fish come in, I'll reduce that to more of like a, a, a small vibration like this. And that what happened is that, that middle is just going like this and the perch can't resist it. I never tip this, I never tip the treble hooks with bait. You don't wanna mess around with bait. If you have to mess around with bait, then this is not the lure that you're gonna be using. And what's really fun is when you can watch it on the Aquaview and as soon as they inhale it, you can go whoosh, and they come up the hole and get tangled and everything. Okay, my second of the top two perch lures for Lake Cascade for giant jumbo perch. We're not interested in really anything under 14 inches. Those are, I mean, 13 inch fish in most places is a great fish, but in Lake Cascade, we're not messing around with it. It's a Halley jig. All right, the Halley jig, I don't know, maybe it comes in other sizes. I'm not extremely familiar with all of the varieties, but I know that this one works. This body part, what you'll see is uh, inch and three quarter long and then it's got another inch or so drop chain on there. Why this one is so effective? Now hear me out. You have the slab wrap which is extremely active which fish love. They come in and grab it. And, but there's just days when you're marking fish like crazy and you're not catching them. When you switch to something like this, perch are extremely curious by nature. I don't know how many times I've had perch come up and actually hit my camera. I mean it's almost every time the big perch come in They'll bump the camera because like, hmm, wonder what this is. They'll see the body of this Halley jig and they'll be curious, but they're not super aggressive. And so you have this drop chain and usually I'll, I'll tip it with, you know, a couple wax worms, a little piece of, of 
Nightcrawler or Red Tiger Worm, anything like that. And they'll be curious enough to come look at the body and they'll want to taste what's on that drop chain. The dynamite setup for this, for the most finicky fish, and I know not everybody has an underwater camera, or are you gonna buy one? But this is a game changer for me anyway. If fish are finicky and I drop this down there and I watch the big ones come in, a lot of times they'll inhale and exhale what's on this drop chain before you even feel it. But if you have the camera down there, you can watch as soon as the inhale, set the hook and you got them. Now, now again, there's, there's variations of that. We've got the, uh, the rocker spoon right here, VMC. You know, very similar. And then you got the cast master version. I like the Halley jig, it's heavy. It's like a bullet going down there. This will beat any lure to the bottom for perch. So if you are in a school and you're trying to get down quick, this, this is an excellent lure to have on one of your rods. All right, how am I fishing the Halley jig? Unlike the slab wrap where I'm doing some bigger jigs, swoops like this, I'm usually just doing a little vibration like that and let it sit. Little vibration like that and let it sit. That'll draw the attention of those big perch. They'll come in to take a look, and when they're not that aggressive, they'll sit there and look at that hook and say, hmm, and then you set the hook, and then you got them. Now a trick I tried recently with this is even then sometimes they wouldn't hit it. And so I'd watch them on the camera, stare it down, and when they wouldn't hit it, I would drop it down into the mud and sit there and pound the mud a little bit and what it does is create this little dust storm down there and then the fish get angry. I don't know what it is about that that drives them crazy, but if you do that with this jig, almost always they would hit it. So there you go. The only two lures that you need for Lake Cascade Giant Perch. That's it. Don't bring anything else. You don't need anything else. Just those two. I know some guys will use uh, dead sticks and you'll catch a few on that, on jaw jackers here and there, but I've never had a day where those were my best setups. With your aggressive jigging of the slab wrap and your more subtle approach of the Halley jig, you've got everything covered in my opinion. All right, if you get out and you catch some big fish, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear how, how your ice fishing season is going. Hopefully this can be helpful to some people. And hopefully next weekend we'll make a sweet perch fishing video of us winning a fishing tournament. I'm not gonna say I'll share the prize with you, but I'll take pictures and we can enjoy it together. All right, thanks for watching.